All right, so let's do some echo reading. So think of the word dirt. You follow while I read. Dirt breeds germs, Nurse Molly Farthing would often say, and germs have a nasty way of making healthy people ill. Naturally, the infirmary, PS 123, was always spotless because Nurse Molly Farthing wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, back up the dirt and your turn. You don't need to point here. Dirt breathes germs. Nurse Molly Farthing, Farthing would often say. So her name again is? Molly Farthing. Okay, that's one more time. Nurse. Nurse Mar Molly mm -hmm. Farthing would often say. And germs have a nasty way of making healthy people ill. Naturally, the in infirmary of PS123 was always spotless because Nurse Molly Farling would have it, wouldn't have it any other way. Good fixing. And her last name is Farling. Farling. So I'll start right here again. Nurse. Nurse. Molly Farthing wouldn't have it in the other way. Okay, good. Finger under hand, my turn. And naturally, as Mrs. Kimmelfarber and Henry rushed through the door that morning, she made both of them go back and wipe their feet on the mat. And don't bring any of your cocoa in here, Nurse Farthing added. She sniffed the air loudly. Cocoa? said Mrs. Kimmelfarber. And naturally, as Miss Kimmel Farber and Henry rushed through the door that morning, she and she's married, so it's going to be Mrs. Let's just right here, as as Mrs. Kimmel Farber and Henry rushed through the door that morning, she made both of them go back and wipe their feet on the mat, and don't bring any of your cocoa in here. Nurse Far Farthing added, she sniffed the air loudly. Coco said, Mrs. Kimmel Farber. Good job. Okay. Finger under don't. My turn. Don't think I don't smell it, Nurse Farthing said. Please, Nurse Farthing, said Mrs. Kimmel Farber. We have an emergency on our hands. This is Henry Green. He's breaking out in a rash of some sort. Oh, or excuse me, so I see, said Nurse Farthing. She sat Henry down in a chair and turned on a bright light. Please, your turn. Don't think I smell it, Nurse Farthing said. Please, Nurse Farthing said, Mrs. Kimmel Farber. We have an emergency on our hands. This is Henry Green. He's broken out in a rash of some sort. So this word's tricking us. This is breaking. Good start here. He's breaking out in a rash of some sort. Okay. You go under so my turn. So I see, said Nurse Farthing. Oh, sorry. Uh, you already did that. You keep going. So I see, said Nurse Farthing. She said Henry, she sat Henry down in a chair and turn on a bright light. Good fixing. Okay, now my turn. Pushing her spectacles down to the tip of her nose, she bent close to Henry and looked him over. It's a rash, all right, she said at last. Peculiar. Looks like little brown spots all over. Let's go a little bit further. Exactly, Mrs. Kimmel Farber said. But what is it? pushing her spectacles down to the tip of her nose. She bent close to Henry and looked him over. It's a rash, all right, she said at last, um, at last, pre, pre peculiar. peculiar, peculiar, looks like little brown spots all over. Exactly, Mrs. Kimmel Farber said, but what is it? Okay, one more time. Turn. Have you ever had measles? Nurse Farthing asked. Yes, said Henry, when I was five. Chicken pox? When I was three and a half. 
then I would say you have an unidentified rash, and frankly, I don't like the look of it. Henry, who up until now was merely frightened, began to feel terrified. Have you ever had measles? Nurse Farthing asked. Yes, said Henry, when I was five. Chicken pox, when I was three and a half. Then I would say you have an unidentified rash. So this is unidentified. Unidentified. So start here, I would say. I would say that you have an unidentified rash. So now we just added a word. So then I would say you. Start that then I would say you have an unidentified rash. Okay. And frankly, I don't like the look of it. Henry, who up until now was near, near, merely mm -hmm. frightened, began to feel terrified. Okay, so what's happening with um, Nurse Molly Farthing? What is she thinking? Um, she doesn't know what it is. What did she think it might be? Uh, chicken pox or measles. Good. But he, had he had chicken pox and measles? Uh-huh. Yeah. So right now it's a, what kind of rash? Und unidentified. Unidentified, meaning they don't know what it is, right? Uh-huh. Okay, you're doing great. You keep going, starting on nurse. Nurse Farthing laid her cool hand on his arm and uh, steadied him. There, there, dear, said, she said, nothing to be frightened of. I'm sure it's not serious. How do you feel? Not very good, said Henry. Warm? No. Cold? No. Dizzy? No, said Henry. I just feel strange. You poor dear, said Nurse Mo Marley Farthing. Her name again is? Molly. Molly. Sister, so said Nurse Molly Farthing. Good. You, you really must be frightened. She ran to, um, she ran her fingers okay. through his hair and patted the back of Henry's neck. Somehow this made him feel a little better. Pop. Did you say something? Asked Nurse Farthing. No, ma'am, said Henry. Pop, what is that sound? What is that noise? Then she asked, she asked, mm -hmm. it sounds like something's going pop. So we just added an S here, like? Something. Yeah, it's just right here, it. It sounds like something going pop. So what's happening? Um, How is Henry feeling? He's not feeling good, but he's not feeling warm or cold. And how did Nurse Farthing help him feel? Put, put her cold hand on his arm. And how'd that make him feel? Better. Yeah, kind of calmed him down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the pot might be? Uh, make a prediction. I think it's his uh, brown dots. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Keep going, you're doing great. I hear it too, said Henry. That's what's tricking us. I heard it too. Okay. I heard it too, said Henry. So did I, said Miss, said Mrs. Kimmel Farber. Pop, pop, pop. Now they all heard it. Okay. The sound of popping filled the infirmary. Little pops and bigger pops and Popping pops, pops, pop pops, keep kept popping. Good. So this is tricky. This is poppity. Poppity. So it says little pops and, and bigger pops and poppity pop pops kept popping. Try that little. Little pops and bigger pops and poppity pop pops kept popping. Good. And we look at his arm and and. And instant, and an instant knew where the noise was coming from. His little brown spots were going bigger and bigger. 
they were popping all over all over him no longer the size of freckles they were as big as the cho the chocolate bits mm -hmm. his mother used for making cakes and cookies he could feel the popping them popping out on his arms and face could feel them growing under his shirt in least and less time than it takes to tell it. Henry Green was covered with little brown lumps from the to the from the top of his head to the tip of his toes. Good job. Okay. So what's happening while while they're examining him? Um his little brown dots are getting bigger. Yeah. So started out as what? Just little brown dots. Mm-hmm. Now they're turning into big bumps. Good. Okay, let's just read one more page. So this is chapter five, calling Doctor Fargo. Fargo. Go ahead and start there. In in later years Henry couldn't remember who screamed first. All he could recall was that both he and Mrs. Kilmel Farber were yelling their heads off and that nurse Molly Farthing, Farthing mm -hmm. was as cool as a um, cantaloupe. Do you know what that means, as cool as a cantaloupe? Like, calm. Yeah. Um, calm down now, both of you, she said. Mrs. Kimmel Farber, you go and call Mrs. Green on the telephone. Tell her we're taking Henry to the city hospital. Mrs. Kimmel Farmer didn't move. She just stood there with her mouth open, staring at Henry. Good job. And her name again is Kimmel... Kimmel Farber. Farber. So who was really worried and upset? Uh, Kimmel Farber. And who else? Henry. Henry. Who's nice and calm? Uh, the doctor, uh, Mrs. Uh, Farthing. Is she a doctor or a nurse? Nurse. Nurse. Nurse Farthing. And where are they going to take Henry? Um, to the city hospital. To the hospital, yeah.